vlog. If you're new here, my name is Coriel from the Luxminimalist.com where we talk about all things luxury, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So um it's been a it's been a minute since I've done a vlog. I was on these living alone in LA vlogs where I show you my apartment updates and then what I get up to living in LA. But so it's been a minute since I've done one, so I thought I would show you some apartment updates in this video um i don't know what else is going to be in this video so far today so today is saturday and so far i have cleaned up my apartment i went to a candle supplier to pick up my jars um and that's about it so um it's 1 p.m now i'm trying to figure out what else i'm going to get into today but let me show you some uh, recent additions to my apartment it is slowly but surely coming together um if you watch my last video do you know i was waiting for my couch and i am still waiting on my couch um i ordered it in uh, september when i moved here um, it is now January, it's still not here. It has an updated expected shipping date um, of April, beginning of April. So, yeah. I have been going to furniture stores here in LA to see if there's anything in stock that I like. I haven't been able to find anything. Um, I had hoped that I would find something that I liked so I could just cancel this order um, because I still have time to cancel it. But I still haven't found anything that I like as much as the couch that I did order. <sighs> I think I might just hold off um, on canceling it and just wait until April to see what happens. But I'm just, they keep pushing back the shipping date. So I don't even know if it's going to get here in April. But anyway, I can show you updates of what I have, you know, added to the apartment. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, starting in the bedroom, I found a rug at Ross, um, of all places. I am not a big shopper of Ross because the store is not normally, like, super empty, I feel like. But the one in LA, oh my gosh, um, the Hollywood location, they have a lot of stuff in there. Um, and I came across this rug and I was like, oh my god, it has the colors of my bed. So I picked it up. It was a perfect size. It was under $100. So check out Ross. Don't sleep on Ross if you <laughs> are looking for home decor. So love that rug. And then I added some things to my bedding. So still have the all white bedding. But I found this blanket. This knit throw blanket. It's like so big. Um, it's from the Casa Luna brand at Target. So I added this to just bring out like the dark grays in the rug. And then I also got some new pillows. So um, these bigger ones are from Target. I think it's the Threshold brand. I can link them. Um, I can link them in the description box below. And then I also got these pillows from, and I got the pillows and the pillow covers from H&M Home. Um, originally, I had bought some cream ones, um, but when I got them, they kind of looked more pinkish. So I sent those back and got these dark gray ones. And I think those work perfectly. Um, and so I think the bed is pretty much done. I kind of want to get one more pillow to put in front there. Um, and then I want to get more pillow um, inserts for the bigger ones so they can stand up properly. Um, but they just have the inserts that came with them from Target. But yeah, this is the bedroom is coming along. I think I might just add some lamps to the side tables. But other than that, I think I'm pretty much done. Um, I really like simple, minimalistic, as you know. Um, if you've been watching this channel, so I don't want to put too much in here. But yeah, and I think I might still get another duvet and duvet cover. Um, this is the same one from Ikea, but I'm thinking about getting something more like ivory toned. Um, but we will see. I think since the furniture, like the side tables and the dresser, um, are all white, I can 
do something different for the actual um, duvet. I can do like an off-white or cream or something. But let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love my bedroom now. And it just that's the, the um, curtains that I showed you last time. But I just think everything is just coming together. So yeah, let me show you what I added to the living room. Okay, so this is what the living room is looking like now. I just put the chair from Wayfair here. And I bought this little basket from Target. I can link it below if you're interested. But that just has all of my throw blankets. I have them like neater and cuter. So I started with two of these. And then I ended up getting another one. So now this can't fit in there. It can't fit over there. So I don't know. If I want to return it or what we will see but for the cabinets like I love how this turned out so like I said I had two at first and but I still needed storage for some other things so I went and picked up a third one so I just have them going across the entire wall like there's a little sliver of space right there where I have my shoes but yeah I love these things um they were super easy to put together i just have like my keys my bag by the door i have my vitruvi diffuser a candle some books and magazines i have more magazines here that just came in i have my candle currently burning well red from my candle line which is like a woodsy like cozy scent um and then i have like a diptyque rim spray that i have really been enjoying so i highly recommend that um this another vitruvi diffuser um that i received from the brand and this vase from h&m home which i think is still in stock so i'll link that below and then uh, this marble circle tray from h&m home which i love um if you have never shopped on h&m home i highly recommend they have so many cute minimalistic things for such great prices and yeah just makes your space feel more like luxurious so highly recommend them and then over here i just have this saint laurent box from the water bottle that i unboxed which i created like a little short on youtube so you can go to my channel to check that out then i just have some fresh roses that i just picked up from trader joe's i got two dozen and I am obsessed like I love looking at these but yeah so th these are all from Ikea I'll link them below so I ordered a white sectional and the idea is that it will start here and then the ottoman part will go here so you can like kick your legs up this way um, and so that way it's not closing off the um, living room too much and I just have this table here and i might put like a little side table there next to the chair so whoever sits there can have somewhere to place their drinks or whatever and then i get a little coffee table the one i want is not in stock it's from cb2 it's the marble coffee table and i think i want the black one just to break up all of the white since this is white and then also the couch is white so I think I'm going to get the black one, but that one is not in stock until like June. So yeah, um, like I said, it's slowly coming together, but I do want to show you what's inside of here. So I also got these little organizational boxes from Ikea and I just love this. Like you can put labels on them if you want. I got the extra large ones, which my candles are in. Um, then I have like the large size, which holds it's so many different things in these um but i also have them over here in this one too and then this is also where i'm keeping my printer just out of the way so when i'm shipping um printing shipping labels i just take it out and plug it in um but yeah like i said i have two more extra large ones and i have books up there um and there's another roll of books behind this roll but so yeah those are the additions to the living room and bedroom slowly slowly coming together um like i said a lot of things are not in stock and i'm very particular about what i want i don't want to just buy anything because i know i'm going to regret it and i'm going to want to still buy the, the things that i really want um 
so I don't want to settle for like what's in stock basically so I'm okay with <laughs> slowly getting to getting it all together um but I really would love my couch like right now um that's the only thing <laughs> like and then once it comes and I'll probably put a tv on the wall I really want the frame tv that you can put artwork on the screen um and it's like very thin a thin frame I really want that one so we'll see I also finally got some lemons here so I bought these from Amazon I can link them below they were like I think ten dollars and then I kept the three limes that my mom had bought me <laughs> I still need to go to the Dollar Tree and get one more pack but I think it looks fine like that so yeah I also just became a fan of Perrier I put them in my mixed drinks so I've been making like a Saint Germain spritz and it calls for a Saint Germain um, sparkling wine and I use Prosecco for that and then soda water and so I used the Perrier for that okay so yeah like I was saying I'm about to figure out what I want to do with the rest of my day it's now 1 30 so I will take you guys along with whatever I get into all right this is what I'm wearing <laughs> this is my cleanup outfit um I just have on these black furry slippers from Nordstrom I'll link them below if they're still available um the shorts from um essentials fear of god I love these um I'll link these below too if you're interested and then this bodysuit from JLux label also love this and we'll link it below but I think I'm gonna put on my jeans it's not cold outside but it's not hot so it's in between I think I'm gonna go and return some clothes that didn't work out from H&M maybe I'll look for some other items and then uh, yeah we'll see what else where else today takes us so let's go <laughs> which is my favorite ramen place if you go there get the TNT ramen and get it extra spicy it's so good um but yeah I did that and then like I'm always so full after I eat ramen so I had to go walk it off so I went to the Americana which is like this outdoor mall and it's in Glendale which is like north of Hollywood I went to go and return some things that I ordered online at H&M but they didn't end up working out so I returned that and then I went to Anna DeSori so I thought I would just quickly show you what I got it's a very very basic little haul but um, I got a few jewelry pieces and a top so the top is literally just a white t-shirt um, I got this in black and I love it I love the fit it's kind of boxy but not like stiff um, but yeah these are just $25 good quality t-shirts so got that in white and then I got some jewelry I love and other stories jewelry pieces um, and they always have good stuff on sale last time I bought a bunch of earrings including the ones I have on I got these in silver um, which I'm wearing and then I also got them in gold but this time I got these just simple um, hoops and these were $10 so yeah they were originally 20 and I got them for $10 and then this wasn't on sale but I just loved how it looked um this was $25 and it's just this like link um bracelet in gold I do need to buy more silver jewelry um but I just love this I have the extra small one um because my wrist is like tiny but yeah, that's all I got from Anna the stories. And then I went to, whenever I'm at the Americana, I have to go to Lauderay. This is my favorite little pastry place. Um, I want to go to the one in Paris. That's on my bucket list. But I just got some macaroons. And I asked them to put it in a little 
box because sometimes they give you a bag but i want to be cute and i want to feel special with my little box so i got it in black they let me choose the color and it's just like a little cute little present um so i got all vanilla macaroons because they're so good oh my god food haul <laughs> um this camera's the worst yeah there you go i got it smells so good but they're normally out of vanilla so i was so surprised and happy when i saw that they had these but anyway that is it for my little outing today i now i'm about to just relax i need to polish my nails because i have some videos to shoot tomorrow so i need to get ready for that i'm going to polish my nails and then kind of do like an outline so i am organizing my thoughts i know what i want to say um but yeah that's gonna be it for this vlog so i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching anything that i mentioned or showed in this video is going to be linked in the description box below um let me know if you want to see more la vlogs if you do let me know what you want me to check out and show you um but yeah thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye